be the unveiling of that Mavic Mini. I'm thinking it's going to sell pretty well overall just because of the weight threshold. I don't think people care too much overall about, let's just say, sensors and all that stuff. But for today, a lot of stuff that I read actually related to some commercial UAV expo or something like that. It seemed like it was very enterprise related and I was trying to find some details about it, watch like videos, but it doesn't seem like much people were covering it because again, maybe it's meant more for corporate people as opposed to recreational and the regular consumer. But some things I did read from there apparently, it says NASA wants city skies filled with drones delivering packages and people. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine pushes for cities where hundreds of aircraft make thousands of trips each day. In less than a decade, the air above at least one United States city will be buzzing with unmanned electric aircraft delivering people and packages, at least if NASA's plan for the future of drones comes true. NASA's administrator touted the idea Tuesday, but knows it won't be easy. We are moving fast, said in a speech at the Commercial UAV Expo in Las Vegas. We want to see by 2028 at least one city, maybe more than one, have the ability to control hundreds of unmanned aerial systems. They could be carrying cargo or could be carrying people, doing thousands of missions every day. I guess that's the key thing too, it's not just transporting goods like drone delivery, it's basically transporting people as well. It says to turn the vision to reality, NASA is using a grand challenge incentive program to improve the technology's maturity. Likened to the approach to the US government's robotic vehicle grand challenge in 2004 that ultimately led to today's self-driving car efforts from companies including Waymo. So that's kind of cool to see if it's coming pretty soon. And it says the person knows there will be plenty of challenges. Among them are infrastructure issues like finding places for drones to land, another is noise. He believes part of the solution will involve moving to battery powered drones from gas powered drones, a common approach for models that can handle heavy payloads today. Actually funny enough, most of the drones I hear are just fully electric, aren't they? I haven't heard much of gas powered drones. For me, I've never been too into things like cars and so forth, but being able to, I guess, potentially ride a drone to transport you to place to place, that I would be excited about. And I guess another piece of news from there, apparently, I guess Skydio is getting more distribution partners. Here it says, Drone Nerds partners with Skydio to bring you the drone you've been waiting for. I guess this is a pretty large company too. It says, Drone Nerds, the largest enterprise drone company in the US, partners with Skydio to bring to the market the Skydio 2 Pro Kit with the drone you've been waiting for. These are extremely exciting times for the drone industry. We are proud to partner with a forward-thinking company like Skydio to tackle the challenging world of today's enterprise customers. So more distribution partners, I guess, the better there is for the product to actually get out there. Again, it sounds like this company, the Skydio 2, is going to be a runaway success for them. So it's going to introduce a lot of competition, which is good, in my opinion anyways. It drives price down and increases innovation. Apparently they're in that expo too, so people can go visit them, but it makes me wonder with all the demand for that product, how are they going to fulfill any orders? Because there's a huge backlog to my understanding anyways. I believe they're already on like the third or fourth batch that people can pre-order. I know they're completely different, like a Mavic Mini and a Skydio, but it makes me wonder if DJI is releasing that drone just to tie people's money up, so to speak. Is it a business strategy for that?
All right, see you guys later.